Reveni Incident Light Meter. This is a new product. If you're unfamiliar with using light meters, Matt, I'm sure you're going to talk a little bit about the difference between what is an incident light reading, what is a reflective, what is a spot meter, meter and what is this product? Yeah, so this is, um, it's kind of interesting. It's like a little bit of everything. So the Reveni Incident is, obviously it's an incident meter. It's got the little dome right there. But the cool thing about it is, um, I only told Matt, uh, Matt at Reveni Labs, the only way I would test this device, it were, in fact, something that could also handle flash photography as well, which is a real challenge with the style of sensors and programming that Matt's the only guy doing all of that stuff, which is kind of crazy. So he started off with uh, a lot of like different types of 3D prints. And then of course he came out with the, the spot meter, which was wildly successful. And this is his kind of next evolution. So why well, I, I have a question. If you yeah. What, can every meter do flash photography or only certain, certain meters can do flash photography or what, what why should I care about yeah. flash photography in a meter? That's a great question. So not every meter has the ability to do flash. So we, we kind of were spoiled in like, I don't know, I'd say the seventies through the, the mid tooth uh, currently with Sekonic meters, which are just like amazing and do so, so, so many things. Mm -hmm. We assume any other new product will be able to do it. But like, think of the simple meter that's in like a smartphone or is in maybe uh, really low end point and shoot cameras. They may not have the ability to meter that instantaneous like flash as it comes. It actually requires more sensitivity and the ability to like have a window in which it's measuring. Because it's it's metering pulse. as the flash happens, right? It's instantaneous. It's looking for that bright, bright. pulse yeah. that's brighter than like the background level. So think of how quickly like the response time is on something like a security light outside it's got to oh. be a lot more responsive than that Heck so yeah. it's a pretty uh, neat like achievement to be able to do that in something that's also like really affordable so on the incident meter itself it's obviously really small it's got this little elastic here which allows me to put my fingers in and the cool thing is now i can i can shoot and then like i can just pop a meter reading here so if i turn it on it's got a nice bright display mm -hmm. right there which is sweet um, I ha it has a few different modes. It's got the incident meter up top, which is a little dome. It also has the reflected meter, which will show as REFL, I think, for reflected mode. It has flash metering, and it also has cine metering, which cine metering is just going to give you like those different uh, shutter speeds that coordinate to like the different uh, shutter angles that are available, which is pretty cool. The display itself is also really nice and easy to read. And it even, this was a, a bonus that I found out once I got the meter, it also has color temperature. So the K for That's Kelvin, nice. it's got wow. Kelvin degrees in terms of temperatures. So all of this in a very tiny package that runs on AAA batteries, which is great. It has a little mini, uh, mini phone sync port in there if you wanted to wire up. I haven't tried wired up, but uh, the instantaneous flash on there is great. And Mike, can your Gossin yeah. Luna Pro do all that? Yes. Gossin Luna Pro F. Gossin Luna Pro. Yes. What, what's a Gossin go for nowadays? Anywhere between forty and eighty dollars. Oh. But I don't know what it is. It's these a bargain. Days. Yeah. That's still pretty good. But yeah. we're also considering like you know. It's old, it's old technology and it's vintage. So. Yeah. So this is like something new. It's going to have a warranty with it. Yep. And uh, these guys, Matt is making these for. 250 Canadian, which roughly right now it's about 185 bucks. So actually around the same price as what the spot meter lodged at, but this has a lot more versatility. And uh, this was a hit at Beers and Cameras last night because they saw me. They're like, "What's he? What's he doing? Is he gonna like whistle and like <laughs> signal somebody?" But no. <laughs> yeah. I saw Trev Lee this morning using a, a meter to get a flash. Yes, he he's handed you the meter and yes. he's like, "Hey, can I pop?" And he was using that little Godox flash, yep. right? Yeah. Do you recall what meter he had? Um, that was, oh, so that was just the simple Sekonic. That was the Sekonic L308S, the classic student meter. Okay. Now that one is almost, I think that's like 250 or 300 bucks now. Whoa. So That's new, brand new? That's brand new. Whoa. So this is com more versatility. Plus, Lighter, smaller, right? Yeah, the fact that it also has in with it uh, color temperature. Mm -hmm. This is one of the cheapest color meters out yeah. there. Now, oh, yeah. Is it hyper accurate? No, but it's within 100 Kelvin. It should. Great. Sun is like 5,600 degrees Kelvin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 55 yeah. to 6,000. Yeah. And Indoor light is 3,200. light is 3,200. 3,200, yep. So if you, uh, if you know those two bases, that broad daylight is 56, then by looking at your meter, you'll know based on what type of film that you're shooting of mm -hmm. what color you are you going to get on your film. Uh, hey, you know, when we were at the uh, Beers and Cameras last night, I was just checking out how many people had these relatively new external meters on their cameras. 
and on top of their cameras on top of their cameras and okay. quite a few actually and i think that's one of the great things that's happened in the past what five years or, or less really are these small relatively inexpensive external light meters and you can give those old manual cameras a much longer mm -hmm. um, life because you know it's more fun to use if you've got a meter and any idea of brands that exist for like top of top of camera these days there's a bunch. I mean, you know, we all know about Raveni Labs, yeah, but there's there the Duomo leader meters, and there's some other ones fairly inexpensive. And I've tested a few out. They're on my blog and Random Camera blog. Give it a give them a look if you're looking for a something besides your phone. Um, because <laughs> well, the, good, the, the thing with the yeah. phone is, you know, it's it's great, but you got to pull it out and yeah, the thing was on your hold. Yeah. when it's on your yeah, you ch it takes two hands to use that camera usually. So. And I like the smaller meters because, like, there's a lesser chance that you're going to, like, forget it. Like, yes. You, you usually, yeah. like, have it on you. It fits in the bag. Right. Um, that was, like, the whole thing that drew me to the Raveni initially was, like, oh, I don't have to take a lens out or anything else to put it in. The big Sekonic, I love it, but, like, it's, it's a whole spot. And if you're doing a pocket camera, it's bigger than the camera you're using. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah.